Hi everyone, this is Quinn from Power Admin. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Smart Config option to add 100 servers quickly with their monitors uh, and actions in place. So let's go ahead and get started by clicking on the Smart Config option. You'll see in this uh, menu that there are four steps to do this. The first one is to find and add uh, the hundred servers that we want to uh, set up monitoring for. So first off, uh, we can do that either from the central monitoring service here, or we can actually select it from a satellite that we may have set up and uh, is running on the network already as well. We're going to set these up using the um, main uh, service. So let's go ahead and select the discover button. Uh, and there's a couple of options here on this menu on how to find the different um, servers that we're looking for. I know the IP address, so I'm going to just look for IP address. I'm going to start with a hunt, uh, start with this address and go through there, and then I'm going to begin the search. <clears throat> and this may take just a little while to do, and I will skip forward a little bit in the video here. Okay, you can see that the search has finished here. And on the left hand side, all the servers that are not being monitored are listed. And then the servers on the right hand side are those that are already being monitored. We're going to go ahead and scroll through the list real quick and just make sure we got the ones that we're looking for. Everything looks good. Oh, there's a couple there that I don't want to monitor. So I'm going to go ahead and, and select these and move them over to the right to be ignored. At this time, we're going to say OK. And that's going to place all those servers in the list of those to monitor. As you see the pop-up coming here, if you want to add a server manually by typing it in, you can do so and then also add credentials. The second step is to go ahead and select the actions that you want to go ahead. And we're going to take the default and select all or allow all of those to be added. Third step is to go ahead and select how you want the servers to monitor these. Do they should they be uh, Windows servers or you're not sure? Uh, by default, it's try to detect whether they're Windows servers or not. We're going to leave those there. And at this time, we're going to go ahead and click on the begin the smart config. And what's going to happen is it's going to come up and ask what kind of actions uh, that you want to add to your uh, monitors. And we're going to go ahead, we have this one selected already to add to the text log file. And we're going to go ahead and say OK on this. At this point, as you can see, it's uh, the service is uh, starting its process and it's going to go ahead and take you all the way to the report section and a smart config status report. And you, it, it will take a few minutes for all of these to uh, be added to the service to be monitored and you can watch if you'd like the the report will be updated every so often and you can also go back and uh, select servers and devices and uh, watch to see that they get added here okay we're back now um, to verify that we got all of our servers added I'm going to go ahead and sort the report here as you can see we started with IP 101 and we should end with 199 as you can see it's here and it looks like we uh, picked up one uh, that we didn't see earlier so we can remove this one as well um, so that's the report over in the servers and devices you can see that the servers have been added and here's the default monitors that we selected and we can scroll down and see all of them as, as well and you can see that all of them are now have have been added with their monitors and actions and that's it thanks and have a great day